Hello you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet your very own fingerless gloves. It's a quick easy project, there you can see them close up and along the tutorial I'll guide you if you want to add the finger thumb area part or not. They're just very quick and easy. Let's get the tutorial started. What you'll need for this project is a yarn color of your choice, a crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. This is the crochet hook size I'll be using. I'm going to be leaving a little tail behind and over this area is where I'm going to begin my project. I'm going to grab my crochet hook, cause a little bit of tension, twist it halfway around, and then rotate it all the way around. Now with this hand I'm going to be grabbing the short little tail and with this other one I'm going to be using it to pull my yarn. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through that first little loop. And I'm counting this first one as one and two. So I'm going to continue with my braid until I reach 30. You should continue your braid until you reach the measurement around your wrist. So I'm just going to continue because I counted mine to a chain of 30. So I'm just going to continue until I reach that number. Once you've completed your chain according to the number you'll need around your wrist, you want it to fit comfortably around your wrist. You want to make sure that it's nicely aligned, the two sides. I'm going to get my crochet hook and I'm going to be putting it inside the first stitch of the opposite side. And there I have my two little ends. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap the yarn, the main source of yarn, around my crochet hook and I'm going to place it in the center let me move the little tail out of the way in the center of the two stitches and there I've united my two ends. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to go into the following stitch I'm going to grab the main source of yarn, pull it through that stitch and there's my three little stitches. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through those three stitches. Now I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go into the following stitch. Grab that yarn, pull it through. There's my three little stitches. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and place it in the center of those three little stitches. And this is basically what I'm going to be doing till I get all the way around to the opposite side. I've come all the way around and I know I'm beginning a new row because I'm going to be passing the little tail. So what I'm going to do here is basically the same thing. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go to the next stitch which would be this one here. Pull the yarn through there. There's my three little stitches. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in. Again I'm going to do the same thing. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook. Go into the following stitch and this is uh, already row two and I'm just going to continue doing the same thing. I'm going to be uh, making mines of 11 more rows before I start working on the thumb. So I'm just going to continue doing this until I complete my 11 rows. I've just completed my 11th row. Now it's three stitches before getting to the little tail where I began. The little tail area is going to go on the side of our wrist like this. So three stitches before getting to this little tail I'm going to begin a single chain of six. So I'm counting this first one as one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you've completed your chain of six we're going to come back to row eleven and we're going to count four stitches one, two, three, and four. On the fourth one, directly place your crochet hook in through there, pull the main source of yarn in through that fourth stitch, and there you have two little stitches. I'm going to be placing this stitch into that stitch. So basically from here we're going to continue doing the same thing. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook, go into the following stitch, pull that yarn through, there's my three little stitches. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through the three stitches. So I'm going to continue doing this the following six 
rows, exactly the same thing. I wanted to show you guys, I'm coming around over the little chain over the thumb area, so basically I'm going to do the same thing. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go in through each of the stitches left behind for the thumb. Just pull the yarn through there. There's my three little stitches. Wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in. So I'm basically going to be doing the same exact thing as if it were just the regular, the regular way I'm going. Just going into each of those stitches. And that's the way it looks. I'm just going to continue going five more lines above the thumb opening. I've completed my final row. What I'm going to be doing now is a trim, but this trim is optional. If you'd want to stop there, you can already stop there and you already have your fingerless gloves as you can see there. And they're very comfortable to use like that, but I want to finish off the thumb and I also want to give it a nice trim over the wrist area and over also the finger area, but this step is optional. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that next. The way I'm going to be finishing the top of my gloves is the same exact way I'm going to be finishing the bottom area as well. What I'm going to be doing is a little chain of four. I'm counting this one as one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to go directly into the following stitch, place my crochet hook in through there, pull the yarn through that stitch and now just place that stitch into this stitch. Again, I'm left with one stitch. Again, a little chain of four. Counting this one is one, two, three, and four. I'm going to go directly into the following stitch, pull the yarn through there, and bring it in to that stitch. And I'm just going to continue this pattern all around and it's going to give me that frilly little trim. I'm going to be doing the same thing over the bottom area as well. There's one little stitch left. I'm not going to be finishing off with a chain of four. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to directly go into that last stitch, pull that yarn through that stitch, and I'm going to place this stitch into this stitch. And I'm just going to pull it, make it big. And now over this area, I'll just be cutting with the scissors. Now I'm going to be placing my fingers in between the loop. I'm going to grab the short little tail I just cut, and I'm going to Bring it in through there and I'm just going to pull it, make it nice and tight. Now I'm going to turn my glove to the inside part and I'm going to grab the little tail and I'm just going to find any stitch of your choice. Place your crochet hook in through there and pull that little tail in through there. And there you have a new loop. Grab the little tail and put it inside that little loop and press. Now again I'm going to place my crochet hook in through there, grab that little tail again, bring it in half ways, and now I'm just going to make a knot. Now I'm just going to clip the two ends off. That's what the trim is going to look like. Now I'm going to be doing the same exact thing over the bottom area. I'm going to start where I have the little tail and I'm just going to join a new source of yarn together. I'm just going to knot these two together. Now with these two little ends I'm going to be making a knot. Again, I'm going to cut off the little tail. Now that I've joined the two ends, it's time to finish off the bottom area exactly how I finished off the top area. So this is what the glove looks like. You could see the trim here and the trim there. Now you could leave the thumb just like that, or you can finish it off like that. Let me show you there. So it's just optional depending on what you'd like. So this one's finished off with the thumb and it has the same exact trim over the bottom and the top area and then this one doesn't have it finished off so I guess it would just be up to you to decide exactly how you'd want to finish off um, your gloves. To finish off the thumb area I'm going to grab my main source of yarn and I'm going to fold it like this. I'm going to grab my crochet hook and I'm going to place it in the middle stitch. I'm going to grab 
that yarn and pull it through and now the single short tail I'm going to grab it and hook it in the center of those two and I'm just gonna press now with these two ends I'm going to make a knot now I'm just gonna cut off the short tail the way I'm going to be working around the thumb area is I'm going to place my crochet hook to the bottom stitch you see there I'm going to pull the yarn through that stitch and I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to be going into the following stitch so I'm just going to directly go into that stitch grab that yarn pull it through and there's my three little stitches I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and bring it in through those three stitches again I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and go into the following stitch and I'm basically going to be doing the same exact thing all around the thumb opening I'm going to be making three lines going around I finished my three rows I'm going to be finishing the same exact way I finished the trim on both sides what I'm going to do is make a chain of four I'm counting this one as one now I'm going to be going directly into the following stitch placing my crochet hook in through there and pulling the yarn through and now I'm just going to place that loop inside that loop and again I have a single stitch I'm going to make another chain of four and just continue doing the same thing all around there's the finished project you'd basically have to be doing two of these and it fits in both hands let me give you an example I'm going to place my hand in through there and there it is it fits perfectly and there's the thumb area now if you want to wear it on your other hand all you have to do is just adjust it to the other hand exactly the same way so it fits perfect on both hands and I finished off the thumb area the same exact way I finished the trim area so as you can see there it fits exactly the same over both your hands so you'd be doing two of the same exact Thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and start crocheting your fingerless gloves. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!